Hey you guys, it's Anne Marie. It's still Marvelous Bob Marley Monday. Yay! Did you know, I found this out just a few hours ago. My friend that I'm staying with, her husband, uh, shared with me uh, that today is National Reggae Day. I said, well, I just did a video and I was wearing my Bob Marley shirt today and I sang Bob Marley. So, happy National Reggae Day. I thought I just brought one deck over here to the good old bed here, and I just wanted to get a positive message from our Ascended Masters, see what we could kind of look forward to. I call to the high vibrating Ancestor Masters, my ancestors, period. Source, Spirit, Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, can we please get some messages? My aunt, yay! Divine Intervention, <laughs> I love this. Weigh your options. Choose the higher good. Haven't I been saying that? What's for the greatest and highest good? What's for the greatest and highest good in this situation? Think of something that's been troubling you or something that you feel as though is a barrier, but something that's been weighing heavy on your shoulders. You may want a certain outcome in this situation. If you can, try. Sorry, my hair's going to I just washed it so it's all <laughs> flowy everywhere. Take yourself out of the scenario, out of the equation. You're an outside observer. What other options do you have for solutions to this issue or to get through this barrier? What is in the best interest for the greatest good making this decision? Are the options that you're thinking of are they for the greatest and highest good of the situation and everybody involved? It's not an easy task because we want what we want. I mean, we're, I mean, nobody's perfect and it could be on any scale, right? And it could be something as simple as, you know, changing shifts at work or it could be something more, you know, create some more conflict maybe it's a family dynamic or you know other areas of your life that have been challenging for you so take yourself out of the equation what are your options and does it benefit everybody involved or does it just benefit you and I asked this question a long time ago I'm going to ask it again this is another little tididdle whatever <laughs> to ask yourself and making certain decisions this one's a little bit harder this one has been more of a challenge for me in the past what would somebody who loves themselves do in this situation what would somebody who loves themselves do somebody who loved themselves would they allow people to call them out their name play in their face cheat them on their check not pay them what they're worth. Not honor and respect them. Would somebody who loved themselves allow the tomfoolery? Would allow someone to step the, across their boundaries? Someone who loves themselves makes decisions and choices that are for their highest and greatest good as well. It's not an easy task. However, if we look at situations in our life from this type of point of view, it becomes easier. It took me many, many years, many trials and tribulations. Because sometimes doing what's in the best interest for us and others, but someone who loves themselves really pisses people off. When we make decisions based out of that concept, somebody who loves themselves would do A, B, and C. Or whatever that is for you. And it's very challenging because when you make those decisions, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people don't like it. And so oftentimes we then kind of double back on stuff and, you know, sometimes wish that people loved us, they would just blah, 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 or whatever. I don't want to get into that part of it, but my aunt is saying that there's divine intervention coming. And as this divine intervention is coming, at the same time, spirit, source, whatever your belief is, 
whatever your higher power is, whatever resonates for you of the light. Spirit is one you just see if you're able to weigh the options and to be able to really determine what's in the greatest good for others, <clears throat> the collective, and yourself. And asking yourself, do you, or, 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 or are you proving to yourself and spirit that you really love yourself by making certain choices and decisions? They're not always the easiest ones. But when we make decisions for our greatest good and we start to love ourselves and have worth and strength and power and pride, we then externally as well want to do things what's for the greatest good as well. It always starts with us. I hope this is making sense. It will resonate with those it needs to resonate with. It's a process. Give yourself a break. Let's get one more. Let me get, let me get another card. Yeah. Well, what do you know? 6.06 on the timer. Okay. What else do we need to know? Oh, look at her. I'm going to show you this again. It's like the Phoenix Rising. St. Germain. Um, of course, I'm bringing my glasses over here. Violet flame. Well, alchemy. Release the old. Make way for the new. See? See? Weigh your options. This is just amazing. Guru Ram Das. Miraculous moments. Harmony surrounds you. Expect miracles. Right. You gotta believe in that. I truly hope this message has found who it needs to. I hope you're healthy and happy and full of joy, you guys. May you love and be loved. Heal. Don't harm. Have a great night.